Chapter 13, Take Time for Testimonies. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. Revelation 12, 11. Standing before a large crowd gathered on the day of Pentecost, Paul testified about Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. Afterwards, 3,000 souls gladly received his testimony and were baptized. Acts 2, 41. Peter took time for testimonies and thousands were baptized. Does God want to use you to win souls for his kingdom like he used Peter? Yes, he does. In the armory of a Christian soldier, testimonies can be used to break down the enemy's strongholds that enshroud the souls with darkness and doubt. Only God knows the far-reaching impact a testimony can have upon souls in darkness who are searching for the light found only in his word. The testimonies of Sheila and the other leaders of the support group greatly encouraged me to fight for my marriage. The women shared honest and transparent testimonies, yet the Lord seasoned their words with grace that covered the sins of their spouses and preserved the dignity of the sacred family circle. Many tears were shed in Sheila's living room, but we rejoiced when broken marriages were restored like the marriage in the following testimony. A close family friend, Paula, often joined me at Sheila's house for prayer, worship, and praise. She was married to her high school sweetheart, Scott. And to this union, four children were born. Scott, a veteran with over 26 years of military service, served in Vietnam and Operation Desert Storm. As a result of his service, he suffered from many visible and invisible wounds, including post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, which eventually led to self-medication with drugs. Scott's poor choices caused much suffering for him, his wife, his marriage, and his family. Despite the challenges, Scott's family trusted in God, prayed for, supported, and helped him get treatment. The Lord showed himself strong on behalf of this family. In due time, Scott rededicated his life to Christ and his broken relationship with family members were restored. After 11 months of separation, Scott and Paula were remarried in front of family, friends, and other well-wishers. Now they are enjoying their retirement years with their children and grandchildren. To God be the glory for great things he has done. Jesus wants you to be both a minister and a witness to lift up the wounded and turn them from darkness to light and from doubt to belief. Diligently watch for opportunities to share your testimony and speak a word in season to him that is weary. Isaiah 54. The Lord promises to be with your mouth and teach you what you should say. Exodus 4:12. Sheila shared her testimony with the ladies in her home. I shared my testimony with you. So when the Lord restores your marriage, be sure to share your testimony with others. However, you don't have to wait until you have a marriage testimony. You can start now. The Holy Spirit can use your personal conversion testimony to bring conviction to the hearts of sinners and help them choose Jesus and eternal life instead of Satan and death. Seeing the difference Jesus made in your life may inspire others with hope that the gospel of Christ has power to change lives and save souls. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving divers lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy, hateful, and hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us, by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Christ Jesus our Savior. That being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. Titus 3, 3 through 7. As you encounter individuals with heavy hearts and heavy burdens, you can encourage them to endure the hard times and look forward to a time in heaven when God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. Revelation 21, 4. On other occasions, you may see fit to share personal testimonies pertaining to how the Lord has helped you, led you, provided for you, and protected you. 
Your testimony may help someone in the valley of decision choose marriage over divorce or life over suicide. Therefore, pray for the Holy Ghost and for boldness as you share your testimonies on the master's behalf. The Lord has helped countless soldiers make known his deeds among the people. Psalms 105.1, and he will help you too. You may not be called to share your testimony before a group as large as the one Peter stood before, but the Lord still wants you to tell others what he has done for you. You can start by sharing entries from your thankful journal with your family or friends. My family and I share testimonies with each other on a daily basis, but each Friday evening we gather for a special worship to acknowledge the seventh day Sabbath. Exodus 20, 8 through 11, and express our gratitude for the blessings God bestowed upon us during the week. This is one of the highlights of our week, a refreshing time of reflection that draws us closer to each other and to our creator. After praying and singing, we take turns sharing what we are thankful for. Two-year-old Michael Shepard even chimes in with his simple words of praise and thanksgiving. Once you are comfortable sharing your testimonies with your family, Venture out from home base and expand your territory. Take time to share your testimonies with your church family, neighbors, friends, co-workers, and others you may come in contact with. Our family has often been strengthened and encouraged by the testimonies given by fellow believers during midweek prayer meetings. In addition to listening to the testimonies of others, we have been privileged to share what God has done for us. Testimonies are a good way for believers to strengthen and encourage one another in their Christian experience. They are also an effective means of sharing Jesus and the gospel with unbelievers. Add take time for testimonies to your armory and report to duty immediately. Consider yourself fully equipped with indispensable, unfailing weapons from God's word to help you accomplish your mission, soldier. Remember, our God is a God of reconciliation, and he has given us the ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5.18 May he bless your efforts toward reconciliation with your spouse and bring complete healing to your marriage. Your broken marriage is worth every tear, every prayer, and every moment of time you invest to restore it. Now go forward in faith and fight for your marriage. Fervently pray identify Bible promises, give thanks, have patience, take time for testimonies.